The coolant reservoir is located at the left side of the engine compartment and indicated by the red arrow. Begin by inspecting the reservoir. If there are cracks or stains on the tank, you have a problem with the tank and it is probably going to need to be replaced. If the fluid in the tank is a milky chocolate brown, you have a big problem as the coolant and the engine oil are mixing somewhere. Make sure that the vehicle is cold to the touch and not under pressure. Begin by removing the cap, green arrow, and check the fluid level. Top up the fluid until it is between the min and max level indicated by the red arrow. Attach the pressure testing cap, red arrow, to the reservoir. Make sure this is a proper cap for your system and do not try and use one that is not an exact fit. It is going to be under a lot of pressure and you do not want it to fly off or be spraying coolant on you or your vehicle. Attach the hose and pump to the cap and pressurize the system to 1.8 bar absolute. It's indicated by the blue arrow. The system should hold pressure. If pressure drops, then you have a leak somewhere. This is also another reason why the cap must be an exact fit. If the pressure is dropping, first check the reservoir for leaks, then all of the hoses and fittings attached to it. The engine oil water cooler can be a cause of leaks, blue arrows. You will not be able to see this, but if fluid starts dripping down from the top of the engine, this is probably your source. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with getting access to your oil cooler. The plastic fitting on the right side of the motor is a constant source for cracking and leaking, indicated by the red arrow. The plastic coolant pipe to the thermostat, blue arrow, is also known for cracking and leaking. Check both of the drain plugs as well, indicated by red arrows. Remove the under trays and check the main supply and return line fittings, red arrows, as well as the heater hose connections, green arrows. The radiators as well as the heat exchangers can be a source of leaks. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with checking those. Always, always make sure to depressurize the system before you remove the cap. Red arrow. Every pressure testing system will have a valve for depressurizing the system after the test. Our Schwaben system had a valve on the junction between the cap you must do this before you attempt to remove the cap. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.